NASA's Phoenix Mars lander has landed. NASA's Phoenix Mars lander has survived a plunge through the red planet's atmosphere and has landed in Mars northern polar region on Sunday sending back pictures of a bleak looking oddly shaped plane. Over the next 90 days or so the probe is due to dig into the permafrost to look for evidence of the building blocks of life and to study the water ice and the dirt, dust and water mixed together that exists on planet Mars because yes wherever humans go they're going to need water and there is water on Mars the first data from the probe as indicated but it is sitting almost exactly level on its landing site the planes that it landed on appear to be broken up by polygon shaped fractures as expected based on orbital imagery. Scientists say such patterns also arise in the polar regions of Earth as well as Mars due to wind action or repeated cycles of freezing and thawing. Underneath this surface I guarantee is ice said Peter Smith the Phoenix Mission's principal investigator from the University of Arizona. Dan McLeese, a chief scientist at JPL, said the polygonal terrain was absolutely beautiful. It looks like a very good place to start digging, he said. Seven minutes of terror. The Phoenix Mars lander plunged into that Martian atmosphere at more than 12,000 miles per hour or 19,200 kilometers per hour after a 10 month 422 million mile or 675 million kilometer voyage through space. It performed a choreographed dance that included unfurling its parachute, shedding its heat shield and back shell, and firing its thrusters to slow to approximately 5 miles per hour. The automated descent was dubbed the 7 minutes of terror for good reason. So far, more than half of all nations attempts to land on Mars have ended in failures or the destruction of the probe. Sunday's touchdown was the first successful soft landing on Mars since the twin Viking landers touched down in 1976. And NASA's twin rovers, which landed on Mars four years ago, used a combination of parachutes and cushioned airbags to bounce to the surface. The Phoenix's landing was a relief for NASA since Mars has a reputation for swallowing spacecraft. Phoenix's target landing site was a 30 mile wide, 50 kilometer wide shallow valley in the high northern latitudes, similar in location to Earth's Greenland or northern Alaska. The site, the landing site was chosen because images from space has seen evidence of a reservoir of frozen water close to the surface. Phoenix is equipped with an 8 foot long, 2.4 meter long arm capable of digging trenches in the soil to get to ice that is believed to be buried a couple of inches to perhaps as much as a foot deep. Then they will analyze the dirt and ice samples 
for traces of organic compounds. The lander also will study whether the ice has ever melted at some point in Mars history when the planet had an environment warmer than the current cold one it currently has. Phoenix, named after the mythical bird, is reborn from its ashes. Inherited hardware from a lander mission that was scrapped after the back-to-back -back Mars losses and carries, and carries similar instruments that flew on the polar lander before. Anyway, this is good news. This will give us some good look, our conclusive look at the ice water or the water ice that exists on Mars. Because when you send a manned mission or a human mission to Mars, well, when they get there, they're going to need water. Because water is the building block or building blocks of life. No water, no life as we know it. No. So, wherever humans go in space, yes, we're going to need water. It's very important. And Mars is part of the future of humankind and the evolution of humankind. It's something for the future. It's something about how we evolve. It's something for the future generations to look forward to, or for everybody to look forward to. The humans, humankind's evolutionary journey is to take it to the planets, to the stars, beyond. It's what we're supposed to do. This is good news. And these are more signs of end times, transition days whatever have you call it, and there are many.